Welcome. Today we're going to talk briefly about 3.5R clutch failure in General Motors 6L 45, 50, 80, and 90 transmissions. So uh, we have a fully assembled 3.5R clutch drum, and in this clutch drum we have two clutch packs. There's the 1, 2, 3, 4 clutch and the 3.5R clutch. Uh, the 3.5R clutch is responsible for delivering reverse, third, and fifth gears. And this particular clutch pack is extremely vulnerable and fails more often than not because of poorly executed welds on the base of the drum. So that's right here. Now this particular unit had less than 70,000 miles on it. It's a 2008 model year uh, 6L80 and it came in originally for a burnt 3.5R clutch pack. So uh, essentially severe slippage and neutral condition in reverse, third and fifth gear. Now. 99% of the time when this happens, the cause is going to be these welds. Um, but we'll show you here how to confirm that so that uh, when you go back with it, you can reinforce the welds all the way around and restore this drum so that it can be used again. So all you need to do to confirm this is have a checking tool used in conjunction with shop air, a little bit of transmission fluid, and a little bit of assembly lube. So what you want to do is Put a little bit of lube here in the bore of the drum, lube up the bushing as well. And then put a little bit of assembly lube on the uh, O-rings on the checking tool. Now there's a few different variations of this tool. Uh, I got it on eBay and you know all of the variants that I've seen are available on eBay and Amazon as well. Uh, of all of them, and they're all about the same price, I prefer this one or at least it looked the nicest to me so that's why I purchased it. But anyway, go ahead and seat it. Okay, you may have to smack it in there. All right, turn the drum right side up and go ahead and install your lock plate. If you don't install this plate, when you go to introduce air, the tool's actually gonna fly out of the drum or the drum will separate from the tool. Okay, and you don't need to wrench it down, just hand tight is fine. So here we have the checking tool. It's designed to check your 1, 2, 3, 4 clutch and your 3, 5R clutch. We're going to check the 3, 5R clutch. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a thin coating of transmission fluid all the way around here on the welds so that if we have leaks at this location, when we introduce air into the clutch circuit, we'll see bubbles. And those bubbles are basically air escaping the welds and, you know, because there's a proxy for fluid, what's actually happening is apply fluid that should be going to apply and clamp that 3-5R clutch and hold it in place is hemorrhaging into the case. So in 2010, GM updated these welds from the factory so that the uh, incident rate of 3-5R clutch failure due to this problem uh, dropped fairly dramatically. However, I still see uh, leaks at this location in later model units, but they're not as bad and you know they're not as frequent. So we'll go ahead and put air here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for bubbles all along the weld seam. And you don't need a ton of air. Hey, you see all that air escaping all along this segment right here. And we'll zoom in. Hey, this thing's leaking like a sieve. And you can kind of see how long it's taken to apply that clutch. If these welds were completely healthy and were sealing 100%, the clutch would apply a lot more readily when um, air is introduced. So anyway, that is how you check and confirm uh, the 3.5R clutch drum sealing integrity. You do this before, um, you know, before overhaul, uh, usually during teardown inspection. And then you'll want to do this again after you or somebody else has reinforced these welds. So as always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them below in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.